<laughs> you failed anyway because you laughed. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> anyway, how did they been today? Um, all right, boring, but we weather's been awful. Yeah, but I had to do my session, so I was literally going to say, did you still have to go outside and do the session? Yeah, yeah, but it was all right to be fair. I actually prefer the rain. Not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, just because like the the heat kills me. Like I, really? Yeah. See, I've been absolutely loving this heat. I've been doing my little runs. <laughs> you not in like no. I've run miles before I've even started. No, I literally I went for a run the other day and it wasn't that sunny and I was like, oh, that's a really big factor to my motivation because it weren't sunny. I was like, oh, I'm actually getting sorry. I'm reading the comments by Chloe, Rins, and Anna Philby. Are they all just ripping you saying big time? Yeah, they're going high. They're actually having their own conversation. Oh, you got all the facts. <laughs> there actually are. Oh, that's jokes. Rihanna, you're big time. Rins. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Uh, did you have to do running today in your session? Yeah, I had to run. But to be fair, I did like that. Um, I did more long distance today. So I just did the 5K instead of because I didn't really want to bring my boots and get them wet for day session. So tomorrow I'm going to bring a bag. Is that the pink boots? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you, so did you run in your, did you run like on grass or did you do like road running? Yeah. If you want, no, my trainers. But if you see the state of them, you can tell I run on grass. <laughs> Just don't be running in no white trainers or boots and grass oh. boots because we can't, we can't be having that. To be fair, I took my dog out for a walk in my Nike Air Force. <laughs> are you reading the comments? And it, what are they saying? That you can't go for a run and you're lying. Rihanna, what view are you moving? How do you even smell? <laughs> oh, no. Nah. I can't deal. Right. I'm not fair. You went, whoa, you went for a run in Air Forces, what are you saying? No, no, no. I walked my dog in my Air Force and then because like, I cut some of the grass, so like I was walking on the pavement, but I cut some of the grass and my Air Force has just what, got... just random grass? Yeah. You cut random grass? What do you mean you <laughs> cut grass? Oh, you cut through the grass? Cut the grass, yeah, yeah. I cut on the grass. Oh, okay. I thought you meant you cut the grass. I was like, all right, big time. So <laughs> you're pitching that, yeah? No, I definitely wouldn't cut the like, heart's grass. Oh, God. All right. So you got, and you got, did you get your trainers day? Yeah. You're such a rookie. Why would you do that to your Air Forces? Some new ones today. Did Some you? New... What colour? You know, like, they're new out. They're, like, the Air Force, but they've got, like, the tick and it's, like, faded. They've got black pair as well. No, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't actually know which one do you mean. You will when you see them. But they're, like, you do. They're, like, they release a black pair and a white pair. I hope they're better than the ones you, had, you put on the other day. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. They are. They are. Um, no, I like these ones. They like got a knife, and the, the bit in the, mi the middle is like a different material. Is it the material that has like loads of little Nike bits on it? I f I might know which ones you're on about. I Mate, might, I don't I know. Might be completely wrong. Someone just commented, "Rihanna, big time team." <laughs> <laughs> I I really hope if this if this catches, me and Anna are taking full credit. Oh my days! I'm oh, actually getting. Anna, this, this is me and you that started this. Mainly Anna because she set the group to it as well. Everyone's loving it. Rin says I'm going abroad. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'd go abroad right now if the weather stays like this. They're just saying I'm big time. I can't believe it. <laughs> do you do you think you're going to be more motivated to? You obviously have to do your workouts and your regime, whatever you've got set like from spurs and that but do you reckon you're going to be more motivated to do it even in the rain yeah i like it in the rain i actually got up earlier today <laughs> what time's earlier um nine i got up at nine o'clock today do you get up earlier than do you, do you well not and i get up earlier than that like not if i'm in my normal routine yeah i get away earlier than that but is that when you're going to uni and going to your 9 a.m's no the training at nine, yeah. <laughs> Not as so much the uni. But no, I do go to uni, to be fair, yeah. How, you've, you've just um, put in your last assignment, though, for the year? Is it for the year? Yeah. Done year two now. I've got one more year and that's it. Buzzing. What, what is the, explain to people the feeling when you put in 
your last well for the year i finished uni like a couple of years ago but explain the feeling when you send in like your last assignment for the year like please just sum it up i literally can't though that's the thing like i just want to just i don't know like go mad it's the best thing ever isn't it i turn it in like received and it just goes you can actually you can actually have a life that's what it feels like yeah you can feel it like when you hand in you can feel no i get what you mean i get what you mean oh it's the best feeling ever so what are you so before you finished your assignments and that and you handed it in a lot of your time was obviously taken up by that and training so yeah. now you've got a little bit more free time on your hands what what's your plans i mean not that you could do much but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i've got to say it now um i don't really know to be fair i just do little bits and pieces like take dog out for much more walks now she you... dog? she's downstairs somewhere <laughs> <laughs> i'll get her up i'll get her up later but she's she's somewhere i have one request bring the dog. <laughs> a little bit of peace and quiet for now <laughs> to be fair i think it's probably a safe option if you bring her in a little bit later because yeah she's a bit crazy isn't she she's cute though so it's fine she's all right she's all right um and oh, I think... why do people keep asking about my undercut i'm growing it out the undercut's growing and it's not honestly no. it's the worst thing ever don't ever don't ever get an undercut if you don't do it just don't do it not that you would but anyone <laughs> no it's not it's not even a joke <clears throat> it's not it's... how yeah how are you cutting your hair now because you can't cut it I'm not cut- I'm growing it. So before we actually went into lockdown, my mum said to me that I had to grow up and get rid of the <laughs> undercut. Much. So I made a promise to her that I'd grow my undercut to make sure that I would grow it. And now I am. Oh, it's just, it's long. It's getting long, but I can't do anything with it. So, yeah. So it's, it's fine. This lockdown is doing good then. Yeah, it's good. Really? I'm really happy that we're in lockdown because I don't have to see anyone or go anywhere because normally I'm at games and I would actually just get ripped into. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good thing. No, it's is... a good thing. Um, have you picked up any hobbies while you've been in lockdown? Um, probably, I just colour, if I'm honest. <laughs> Do you colour by numbers? <laughs> yeah. No, um, no, I just colour. I can't... To be fair, last year... Was it last? Yeah, last year when I went to Tenerife, I brought a colouring book. Yeah. Going through the pages. <laughs> but yeah, that's quite good. And then I don't really just sort of... Oh, I got a Nintendo. I play Animal Crossing. Oh, cool. I've never played that in my life. I'm not going to lie to you. It, to be fair. Anna Philby likes it too. <laughs> Anna likes everything. All I see is her on yes, live playing either Call of Duty or FIFA. Yeah. Fortnite. She tried getting me playing. Oh, it. that's it. Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite's so such a tactical game. I can't understand it. I don't get it. I played it once and I gave the controller back. I was at my best friend's house and I literally gave him the controller back and said, "Take it. I don't want it." Yeah, I just don't get it. I don't really. To be fair, she she she. He had to drink like some potion thing, but I couldn't work out how I had to do it. So <laughs> she was just laughing at me. I was like. So you just what's what do you do at Animal Crossing? Do you just build a like an walk? island? Yeah, and you get like challenges every day. So what what <laughs> Chloe? <laughs> Pep, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, what so yeah? What sort of challenge? What to like build a river or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, not to build a river, but <laughs> you sort of like um. <sighs> I can't describe it. Like you're on an island, and then like you've you've got tasks, and you cut wood off trees and like fruits and stuff, and then you like start building things, and you like craft different things, and then you like craft like and stuff, and then they sort of like <laughs> you don't build rivers. <laughs> then like you build different things in order to like open up the land a bit more and stuff like that. But yeah, okay. And are you playing that every day? Um, mostly yeah. To be fair, like after I've done my session and stuff, I've got nothing else to do really. So can you can you put like specific clothing on it like can you put like a spurs top on it um i haven't got a spurs top right now but i've got like a little trap suit on <laughs> with slippers <laughs> with, with, with slippers yeah with slippers slippers or sliders slippers slippers because they don't do any sliders 
Nah, what are you doing? Chloe, you didn't beat me at FIFA. You got lucky because it lagged. Oh my God, I saw that result, by the way. No, it lagged. It la Honestly, we was drawing like 2-2 two -two or something and it lagged. Oh, what happened there? Your reception went dodgy. Oh. <laughs> and also beat Nancy at FIFA. Hello, Brie. <laughs> What's wrong with Pep's got nothing else to do? She said hello like 10 times. The whole chat is Pep going hi, hi, hi. Just hi. Give, her, give her a shout out. Everybody follow Chloe Pep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. PT. Pep does PT training. That's way. Oh, I need a PT. I need to get fit. To be get fair. Chloe Pep, though, does it? That's wavy. Do you think? To be fair, I feel like. For me, this is the fittest I've ever been, only because I'm actually actively going out and exercising a lot more, yeah. where I've got time to. Yeah, no, it's like, like to work on yourself and stuff. That gives a little bit of time. Are you doing like any yoga or reading or? Yeah, well, I'm yet to join the yoga class. You know, Josie Green in my team, she does um, yoga sessions. Ah. Um. Uh, that's, that's pretty good to be fair I've heard good things but yeah I do like bits and pieces of like my own yoga in terms of before I go to training and when I just before I go to bed why haven't you turned up to the yoga class because every time it's put on I'm over the park you're busy no I'm training <laughs> busy I've been training so that's why I just do you not all synchronize up your training and train at the same time um not really i think just because people like get up at different times people do different things to be fair, i think like actually i don't know if i'm honest <laughs> <laughs> i love that you really tried to go for it yes i have no idea no, don't know it's, like we do like i obviously speak to them like a few people in my team but some of them i think just doing other things and keeping themselves busy and stuff yeah um talking about teammates are you missing them yeah what what do you think the reunion, well, obviously, we don't know when we're going back, but what do you think the reunion's going to be like when you lot are all back together? Are you excited for it? Yeah, I actually am. Um, I've just missed, like, my car journeys with Anna Philby getting to training. Yeah. And, like, I miss annoying Chloe Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just miss everyone, to be fair. Like, I just miss all the staff, all the players, like, the atmosphere that goes miss on. Miss me coming to the games, bigging you up. Yeah. And, like, you sort of, like, help me score goals. Whenever you're there, I score, so... I swear on my life I'm your good luck charm. I swear to God. But you better be there every game now then. Yeah, I will. I mean, <laughs> I can't be at every game. I no. Need to, I need to keep it neutral. Who, well, I don't know who our next game. well, it won't be... Whatever happens, happens. I don't really know. I will t I've been to quite a lot of Spurs games this year, though. I've been to at least... Mm -hmm. Six, mate? Nah, five? I mean, I don't even know how many we've played. I've definitely been to at least five games, though. Yeah, 100%. It's because, to be fair, I think I know of or can talk to most or quite a few of the Spurs girls, so I feel comfortable. Like, you lot yeah. are all chilled. Yeah. Not saying that other teams aren't, but it, I don't <laughs> know. Like, No, like everyone's cool when I talk to them. But... Spurs is your favourite, really. That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> well, I have actually got a Spurs shirt. I've got the blue, you know, the really nice blue one. Oh, yeah. Our third gear, is that? Yeah. I've got a yeah. third gear. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, to be fair. Where, where did we play? We played against that in our last few games, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, you played in it in... Against Brighton and against Coventry. Yeah, Coventry. Yeah. What was the game? Was it... It weren't Barnsley, I don't think. Burnley. Burnley or Barnsley? Barnsley, that, Barnsley. That was the last game I came to watch and your socks were rotten. We didn't play in our blue kit then, did we? No, it's no, white. There's white. That's how I remember that they were dirty because I was just absolutely ripping you for it. <gasps> and you yeah, guys I... dragged me on the pitch with my Air Forces on. Oh, yeah. And then had the audacity <laughs> to tell <laughs> Yeah, and then you had the audacity to say that Fuduma was wearing better trainers than me. Yeah, that's it. I was about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate it. What shoes did she have? Oh, she had them Puma ones on, didn't she? They were really nice, to be fair. Yeah, but I have better trainers. I have the best trainers. <laughs> better than you, anyway, with the ones you're producing at the minute. <laughs> uh, 
to be fair, have you, I can't believe you don't like them. They're like they're literally like Air Force but non branded. Nah, they're just not not a bit of me. I know, I know. They're, they're different. Different, yeah. Only certain people can pull them off. We'll say that. Yeah, but I've got about seven pairs of Air Force. Yeah, that's okay. That's perfectly acceptable. Yeah, but they've all got crinkles in. So I've had to buy a new pair. That is not acceptable. <laughs> You should get it. Have you, have you not got the crease things? No, my mum... No, I haven't. No, I haven't. You can literally get them for £3 on eBay. They're the best ever. Uh, things that go in the shoe at the top? Yeah. No, they hurt your feet, I'm sure. No, I've got them. At first, they hurt your feet. Then your feet just adapt. My Air Forces look fresh. Like Is it the every... bit... Isn't it? The yeah. Front. Yeah, yeah. I you might just get used to it. I just buy them a bit smaller so they fit. <laughs> that's so bad for your feet what would you rather have crinkled air forces or have your feet hurt a little bit no they don't hurt my feet at all to me i think to be fair my i try and copy my boot size when my foot boots are a little bit bigger so my feet fit perfectly but so i try and copy because you've got bigger socks on when you've got football boots on yeah but not when not when you yeah, got like, air forces on I thought, so i ordered a size six to start with when i first ever got them so now i don't get a size down the night you get a five so if anyone wants to send retrainers <laughs> specifically air forces send her a size five uh, that's jokes i love trainers yes yeah, i actually so talk about trainers all day i have so many pairs my mum thinks they're all the same but they're not and then she has then i went into her room and she's got the same boots <laughs> and the same tra- same sort of trainer and i was like you said my shoes are the same that's jokes how many pairs of trainers do you reckon you own um, probably, I don't actually know, probably around 20 to 30. I think <laughs> I've literally got five times the amount you have. Exactly, see, I don't have that bad then. But no. to be fair, they're all at the bottom of my wardrobe, so, and tomorrow I've got actually a shoe rack coming, so I'm going to put them nice and neat. Love that, I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, same, because they're all just bundled up and I can't find them. Don't just all the creased Air Forces out, though, because it won't look good. The other day, I got my Air Force, and I had, like, a size five and a half and a five, and I put them on my feet, and I was like, why do they feel different? Oh, no. <laughs> but it was fun. That is jokes. Um, So what I've been doing with a few, well, everyone that's come on, I've been getting them to talk about, like, their football career. Obviously, you're still very young, and you've got a lot of, like a lot of football time left but are you happy to yeah you have think positive here. <laughs> um are you happy to talk about like how your journey started and like how you started playing where where you've been and where you're where you are now god i've got to try and think um now uh well i first started because my brother played football for like a a grassroots team so i just wanted to sort of copy him yeah and uh, be better than him yeah uh, <laughs> joined like they had like um one of the coaches set up like a, a younger sort of team going on and I just started to join it uh, at the time what was it called Hidden, Hiddenden Abbots okay. uh, and I played with them for a bit and then when I was seven I joined QPR yeah um and at the time that it was it was sort of a center of excellence at the time um and that's where I met Chloe Kelly she was there um and sort of just played there for three years um and then i did a brazilian soccer alongside that and that's where i met anna philby oh, I love that. <laughs> um and yeah i asked her to come down there and then we was all at qpr for like three years so you scouted anna is that what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> i can't say that <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> and she, she, i mean she stood out from the rest though might as well have brought it down um and then from there i wanted to sort of like get into like an academy football like, i didn't really know how yeah um, I think one of my teachers, this Middlesex thing come through, and it's about Middlesex Centre of Excellence. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played there. Did you? I swear to God, yeah. When it first ever opened, um, I I'm joined... I'm older there. than you, though. I'm, like, a few years older than you. Oh, I don't know how much older, but yeah. <laughs> how old are you? I don't even know how old you are. 21. I'm, like, four years older, three or four years older than you. I just look 12. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> You're pushing it there. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I was at Middlesex for like a year. Um, and then I sort of wanted to sort of push myself even more. 
um, and sort of like, because I didn't really know about like the Arsenal's or Chelsea's until at Middlesex we played against them. Yeah. I was like, oh, I want to play for them sort of thing. And then I sort of like me, Chloe and Anna all sort of went for a trial then um, and sort of got in from there. And then we was at Arsenal from, so I was just turning 12 at Arsenal. And then I left when I was 18, yeah, 18, um, to get some first team football. And then I went to Millwall which gave me some first team minutes. And then from there, I went to Spurs and now I'm still at Spurs. Now you're still at Spurs. <laughs> still here. Still going at Spurs. You was at Spurs when they was in the championship though, no? Yeah, so last season. Yeah, you was with them. And then what is it like stepping up? Like how, how buzzing were you like personally? Uh, I was proper buzzing I mean like to sort of get a team promoted and then sort of be with them in the league like there's probably no better feeling like when I look back at the pictures to it I'm just like I get all like these like goosebumps and stuff because it's just like I wish I could go back to that day when we got promoted like it was crazy just like the best feeling I could probably possibly imagine like just knowing that your hard work and your whole team yeah and like everything like that I put in the work and managed to sort of like we've all got promoted to be in the Super League and it was just yeah I think probably to this day like one of the best days of my life 100% it was literally like a year ago a couple of days ago right yeah literally yeah that's crazy that's so crazy how how time has literally flown honestly like um, literally literally flown it's mad and now we're doing sitting in sort of mid-table doing well doing well don't you think that Spurs, I always say this, Spurs have the best kit, like the best training kit. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to be biased, obviously. <laughs> I, I love the Spurs kit. It's amazing. I think it's... I remember it's... when it came out and I saw that it was purple. And honestly, I was like, I might actually just support Spurs for the kit. That's why you bought the blue kit, wasn't it? Well, I didn't buy it. I got given it. But yeah, that's why I asked for it. Oh, did you get given it? That's yeah. it. Hashtag gifted. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but to be fair the only reason like i don't really just get kits to have them like i even need to like the team or like the kit yeah if, yeah so with me if a kit's a nice color or is purple like which is a nice color i just want, I, I want the kit <laughs> no it's not oh that is it. <laughs> I was about to say, why do you like purple kids? Purple's the colour of royalty. That's why I like is it. Yeah. It's a fun fact. Fun purple. Fact. Yeah. If you had to, if you're a manager, not if you had to, well, we're going to pretend you're a manager, and yeah. you was in a five-a-side tournament and you had to select a Spurs team, five-a-side, and like a world women's five side, who would be in your Spurs team, and who would be in your <laughs> world? world? As in like women's? Yeah, women's. Um. So basically, you want me to pick out my team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For you get you get two. So you've got a Spurs one, and then you've got like any female player ever from anywhere. Well, I mean, that's a bit hard. I mean, you can't, I, if, Anna, but... you can't put Anna Philby in your team because you lot discussed oh. that you're going to pick each other. <laughs> oh, damn. I'd have every one of my Spurs players. Um, yeah, but you can't because there's only five places up for grabs. Um, oh, I don't know. You don't have to have a keeper either. You can have a sweeper keeper. Oh, a sweeper keeper? Yeah. Then I just have my other centre. Oh no, but Becky Spence is so good as a sweep, sweeper keeper. I just, couldn't just imagine it. <laughs> Maybe Becky Spencer is a sweep, sweeper keeper still. Um, and then, I mean, she'd just be a keeper. She could just come out. Yeah, but yeah, but then we can have yeah. Okay, right. Anyway, Becky Spencer. <laughs> um, who else am I going to have? This is tough. Then I'll probably have Hannah Godfrey at the back. Mm -hmm. Um, midfield, Clay Pepper because she just runs everywhere. She's yeah. good, got good fitness. Um, I'm not including myself, yeah. No, because you're the manager. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god, this is hard. 
Gemma, Gemma, because she's good on that small size, she'll be flicking it about. She is the techiest player I've ever come across in my whole entire life. Oh, this is hard because all I want is attackers, like, it's not fair. Then I, oh, Jess, my Jess, Jessie Naz, Jessica Naz. It's a solid team. That is, isn't it? We would yeah. be everywhere. <laughs> Who are you gonna, who's going to be your assistant manager? I'll let you rig someone in. And <laughs> feel me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if it goes wrong, I'll just blame Anna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and world, world, like any female player, any team, any like any era, they can be past, oh well, past, uh, present, future. God, this is hard. This is very hard. Um. Okay, let me just not start with the keeper at the back. I'll definitely have Kelly Smith in there. Okay. Um. Marta, that Brazilian. That Brazilian. I think everyone knows who Marta is. I didn't know if you met. There's two Martas. Marta, the Spanish one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and was thinking got... of someone completely different. Um, oh, God, this is well old. Um, <laughs> oh, I know who I'm going to put at the back. I'm going to put Jenna Scalacci. Solid. Yeah, bless her. Um... Bless her! <laughs> <laughs> Um, Rachel Yankee. Ah, uh, yes, hundred. I'm down for that. Um, how many have I got so far? Four. Oh God, I need, I've, I've got a centre back. I need a midfielder, don't I? I'm not keeping track of where they play or what they're doing. I'm just counting the names. It's tough. Maybe Carly Lloyd. Yeah. You just say you needed a centre back. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> No, I've you can still, you can I've still got, have her. Yeah, yeah, I have Carly Lloyd. There you go. That's a... It flows more, but... <laughs> but you're only limited to five. Is Anna stepping up to be your assistant again, so if it goes wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that just, if anything goes wrong, blame Anna. Yeah. Or Peplo. I have Pe a Chloe Peplo. Even more. Anyone to take the blame? Yeah, anyone. <laughs> So basically, we was meant to originally, for everyone watching this, this was meant to be me, Re, and Anna, all on a live. And we literally organised it, we had a group chat, we was absolutely buzzing. And then it, I was just like, you can't have, you can't have more than two accounts in a, in a live. And I should No, our dreams were literally just shattered. <laughs> We got so excited for it, and then it just it just all came crashing down. It was it was upsetting to be fair. You was adamant that we could have three <laughs> people. I'm sure to God I've clicked on like Instagram story and I've seen three people on there. Maybe someone's just stuck with someone. Yeah, true. <laughs> it would have worked well if you weren't in isolation. It would have worked well, but yeah, if didn't. we weren't in isolation. Keeping score probably wouldn't be here, though. That's true. But, well, if I, I could have lived with Anna in a player house, if I did. Could you? What, did you have the option to? I, I, I didn't have the option, but I'm just saying, like... <laughs> <laughs> if I did. You're just making up the rules now here, aren't you? <laughs> Trying to pretend the story. To... <laughs> so, basically, me and Anna were meant to live together, but I didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I feel and I feel we live together. I don't even know. You lot don't live far from each other though, so no, we you ever cross each other on a five k? <laughs> no, because <laughs> no, I do that round my park, so wouldn't see Anna feel be out. <laughs> how many laps do you do of the park to get to five k? Um, how many was it today? Roger. It was about eight. I so it's quite a big park then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite a big park. Mm. Huge. Fair and it was quite quiet today because obviously it was raining and stuff, so I could just get around nice and easy. I didn't have to social distance from anyone. Yeah. See, I but... I got sent on a shop run at quarter past seven tonight in the pouring <laughs> rain, and I walked oh, yeah. through, I walked through the park and it was absolutely dead. Yeah, it is. And then the other day when I was I was walking my dog, 
it was packed. It was literally like, because it was a hot day. It was yeah. so busy in the park. Was, I was just like, what, what are you doing? It is so bad. People sitting down with a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being so serious. Oh, I'm being dear. so serious. What do you reckon? First thing you're going to do out of lockdown? Go for a Nando's with Anna Philby and Chloe Peplow. Everyone says Nando's. Just be, I don't know. I think it's more of like a healthier option if you get what I mean. That's what people say. You just feel yeah. that skill. Did you see that Nando's are delivering? Yeah, I know, but I don't know how true that is. It's not the same though. No, it wouldn't be. Uh, not the same. Amelia yeah, but... Jenkins, I think that says, says, what's your Nando's order? How are you getting comments? Because I'm reading them. I don't have any comments from Arthur Peplow. <laughs> <laughs> from Arthur Peplow? <laughs> from Arthur Peplow. That's all I've got. Um, what is, what well, is Kirby's just popped up again saying, where are we going on holiday next year? Why have I got none of these comments? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know what I've done. You've just turned yourself off. Have I come back again? No. <laughs> have just... I come back on? <laughs> what have you done? Where have I gone? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Where have I gone? <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> what did you do? I turned the camera around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying! No. <laughs> I turned the camera around. So it's black. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh dear me! I'm crying. It's wow. getting. What's your Nando's order? Oh. My Nando's order is, but it depends what mood I'm in. But it's usually chicken. Perry being at Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Perry uh, Tamer chicken, butterfly. Yeah. Broccoli. Mm -hmm. And spicy rice. Yeah, you definitely go for the healthy option <laughs> at Nando's, don't you? <laughs> Well, have you not, have you had the broccoli at Nando's? It is amazing. Uh, no. Well, I think I've tasted it. Yeah, I've tasted it. Have you had the um, the greens and grains with the no, avocado I... sauce? Is that good? Unreal. Ten ten recommend. I think Chloe Peplow has that, and I always look at it and think, oh, I, don't, I should get that next time, but I just don't. Why don't you ever ask Chloe if so you can just have a little taste and know if you like it or not? <laughs> Then you'd know if you like it. I'm too engrossed in my own. I just in your broccoli. It's so good, honestly. It's steamed broccoli, so it's healthy. Yeah, health is wealth and all of that. She so can't mm -hmm. have any of my food. Where? Why can't I not see these comments? Have you turned the comments off? How do I turn them on? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I just about know how to add someone into a live. I, I didn't even know you could add filters until you started doing it earlier. You're going to do that next time, aren't you? No, I'm not going to put a filter on. All I've got, the, my, my last comments is, hello, Ray from Clive. Have you got ten of them in a row just saying hello, hello, hello? <laughs> and one above that says, and also beat Nancy at FIFA. She didn't beat me at FIFA. She got lucky because I lagged. Yeah, so you're I well behind. She said hello another ten times after that. Oh, you turned the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I double tap the screen and then it turns the camera around. Oh, but have you got the comments back? Maybe no. swipe left or right. Nothing happens. Oh, does anyone know how to get the comments back for Re? Scroll I could, down. I on see the comments. other ones. Scroll down. I am. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. That, no. Someone said scroll down, so I thought that, I thought that was... Maybe if I swipe off it, when it still keep me on the chat? Re, I don't know. I'm not a live specialist. I can literally just about get someone in. I won't do that then, just in case. <laughs> I'll just let you know what people are saying. Okay. Mainly Chloe. Is <laughs> she still on it? Oh, uh, Maz has just come on. She's a big fan. Oh, uh, Maz. Did you know Maz is Scouse? Yeah. I swear to God, I learned this the other day. Do you not listen to her? Yeah, I do, but I just didn't know she was scarce. Like, I just never picked up on it until literally, I think it's yesterday or the day before. Yeah, you can hear it. Well, loud. 
<laughs> How loud? <laughs> it was literally like breaking news for me. I messaged her and everything. Oh, stop turning the screen off. Did I come back? I'm fine, aren't I? Yeah, you're... S no, you're gone. <laughs> no, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Do you just keep flipping it around to see if the comments come back with it? <laughs> no, I... um. I don't really know what I was saying, if I'm honest. Can you really not see the comments? Because Maz and Pepper just having like a little chat to themselves. No, not see anything. This is really upsetting. All I can see is Clyde Peplo that says, and also being Nancy Fever, hello, Ray. That's all. <laughs> well, to let you know, Maz is disappointed that I didn't know she was Scouts. But I'm not being funny. I didn't know this was like knowledge to anyone. Have you never spoken to her? Yes, of course I have. I just didn't know she was Scouts. To be fair, she has lost it a little bit. But you can hear, I don't know, probably because I'm just, I don't know. Got better listening skills, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who are, I can't actually take this seriously with these lot having a chat with themselves, so I'm just going to stay direct. I can't see it, so I'm right. <laughs> Maz, I do rate you, I just didn't know you were scouts. Maz, she don't rate you, I can't believe that. She didn't Big even. Big time, don't do this, yeah. <laughs> Your voice. Big time, don't do this. Um. <laughs> Who is the best player you've played with, or players, and who's the best players you've played against? Oh my god, that is Wellard. Um, Every time you say Wellard, I just think of Wellard, the dog from EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say quite a few, because I've played with loads of good players. Maz is well getting at me, stop this. What's she saying? She's saying that she's disappointed, and to do a live with her instead of me because I didn't know she was scouts. Yeah, well, Maz, I wouldn't have it either if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to come and not support you at your games next season. What, Maz or us? <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't wear that Tottenham shirt anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it away. No, that's the best shirt. No, I won't um, give it away. The best player? Well, like, if you're going back, back, like, when I was at Arsenal for a bit, Kelly Smith was still training. Mm -hmm. Like, play with her, that was something else. Um, so I'd probably say Kelly Smith. Mm -hmm. Then that was probably as well, because was obviously, when I was growing up, she was, like, my role model as well. So that like, just sort of put it together. Um, the hardest I played against... This is... Um... I don't really... When I was... This is another one. When I was Are you going to say there's no one that you've played against that's hard? Yes, everyone. Every week I play against hard players. <laughs> um, but when I was at Arsenal, I played against Marta. Yeah. And I was on the wing then. And yeah. that was something else. Did you get Megs? No, I didn't luckily enough, but I just... That's knows about getting Megs. <laughs> <laughs> But she is literally gonna hate me after this live. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna talk anymore and do it to myself. Every week I play against hard opposition, so it's quite a tough one. Like all back fours this season are like I don't think you can get better really. But that's definitely a credit to the to the league, though, isn't it? To, for you to say something like it's a credit to the league, and it just means that you have to work harder and become a yeah. smarter player and. It yeah. develops you as a player. It's definitely better for like strikers and stuff like that. But yeah, I find it like every week, there's not one week where I'm like, oh, I've got a little bit of a breather. Like it's full on every week. Like it's it's proper hard. But yeah, I love it. I like the competition. You absolutely love a breather on a match day. <laughs> <laughs> I think was it the game against West Ham? I knew this was gonna be. <laughs> Oi, I've got a video, and I swear to God, you was down for a solid 54 seconds. But I was just so excited, I think that was what happened. Did you? I think you'd scored, you'd literally scored and done like a massive celebration, and then all <laughs> I saw is you literally go on all fours, and you were just on the floor for ages. I was just, I was just so happy, I think. I don't know, I was just, I was just relieved that we finally scored. See, told you, I was at that game, 3 2 win, and you scored. No, nah, that was. I love that game. I love games like that. Not not so much like the tension. I probably 
fans don't like that either, but to score a last minute winner is yeah. probably one one of the best things like for a striker like scoring three goals or scoring a last minute winner like I don't know I just I love scoring last minute winners what's been your favourite goal of the season <laughs> the one <laughs> time the stadium ah that header was that a header as well yeah was you not out there at that one I think I was at a different game I'm not gonna lie to you oh, sorry yeah that, that was as well because I think it was my first goal of, of the double SL so it just sort of stick with me forever that yeah one. that's to score your first goal in a WSL at a stadium like that. Yeah, I that's know. That's crazy. Yeah. You're not happy that I wasn't there? No, I said... <laughs> you cut out, so I literally just I, made that up. I, was, <laughs> I said I was lucky enough to have that like as my first game. How did I get from, I'm not happy you were there, to... I, <laughs> you literally cut out, so I just made it up. I just thought you was going to rip into me, so I just made it up. I thought my sig is my signal not very good. Uh, can you see com comments again? Nope. Wrong. Oh, you fade in and out sometimes, and sometimes your screen goes black. But that's because you're <laughs> flipping the camera. Yeah, um, I'm sure. Yeah, I've got all the comments before. Like I can scroll all the way up to the top from that. But I don't that. understand how you've got rid of the comments. Oh, <laughs> go to the bottom. Can you see three little dots? Whereabouts? Somewhere at the bottom. So, I've got an arrow, I've got the filter sign, and I've got the spinny one to turn my camera around. Oh. I have no idea how you're getting your comments back. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. <laughs> no idea. Um, well, I was going to say if anyone had any questions that you wanted to pick out and answer, but... I am. <laughs> you've ruined that. <laughs> well... So if anyone does want to put a question in, and I'll try and pick some out if any come up. But re okay. literally, oh, I can't restart the live. I can't do that. Is who said that? Uh, just someone said restart live. Someone said, try to just tap the screen. You can remove and bring back the comments. Someone said, what's your pre-match meal? That's a good start. What is your pre-match meal? Um, depends what time. Um, if it's a two o'clock kickoff, I I sort of mix it up, but usually I have beans on toast. Typical beans on toast in the morning, or I have pasta, chicken and pasta. But I don't like to eat too heavy before the game. That's the yeah. I'd rather just eat little like light food. Um, the day before probably is a little bit bigger in terms of like getting my carbs and my protein and stuff like that because. Yeah, I prefer to eat bigger the day before because then in the morning and stuff like that, you you eat less because then. Yeah. I feel the day before. But, yeah. Fair enough. Someone said, what's your favourite ground you've played at? Tottenham. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. How incredible was that day? Like, just that in terms of... I'm real. I was talking to Anne Philby about it earlier and I was just like, it was amazing. Like, it was actually amazing. I could do it all over again. I could do that day again. I love that it was... day. Especially for women's football as well. Like, it was just, it was class. 100%. I, rem I remember, I was literally um, pretty much sat where the players' tunnel was. So, literally just above the players' tunnel. And yeah. I just stood there at one point and just scanned the whole stadium as the match was going on. And it was incredible. The amount of people that was there. It was one of those moments where, like, I <laughs> took it in and I was just like, oh, my God, this is, this is, this is, everything and more you could want for the women's game honestly no it was it was amazing like just the atmosphere as well like when you're on the pitch and like your team has the ball and stuff like that the crowd just is like you feel like you lifted up like you're lifting up but it's, it's quality like i loved it i could just do it all over again hopefully hopefully more to come hopefully it's it's a good day out as well isn't it like just it, yeah. even in terms of like football like women's football itself it's such a good day out but Stuff like that does make it seem a little bit more special. Yeah, no, 100%, I agree. Someone just said the game at the Spurs Stadium was the first game they've been to and they liked it. Oh, that's good. Someone's just asked who was who was I supporting on that day. <laughs> if you you got, you got to be nice now. I actually I was support I was actually supporting Spurs. I love an underdog. 
Yeah, I know. We well, was doing well. I was. I genuinely was. What you know me. I'm very honest about who I'm supporting. Remember. I because I spoke to you after, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Played... I, I was supporting. I was supporting Spurs that day. <laughs> Nancy being loyal. I'm not being loyal. I just. I think it changes every week what team I want to win, depending on like who's playing, where it is. It like it differs every week. No, I'm good at score predictions though, especially for Spurs. You could have bet. You could have said we was gonna win. <laughs> I thought you lot were gonna win. I wanted you lot to win. Yeah, no, no. It's that's what I love about this league as well. Like anything can happen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, hundred, hundred percent. What um, someone said. What's your favorite? What's your favorite footballing moment at Spurs? Getting promoted, probably. And <laughs> your chance come up. Rihanna Dean is a goal scoring machine. Way. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Love it. How does it feel to have like a chant that's lit specified to you? Uh, that's a that's a good question. To be fair, I don't know. It's a hard. It's sort of hard to answer because it's like you sort of don't believe it, but like in the moment, it's like. It's amazing to be fair. Like, I can't really describe it. Like, did you ever imagine growing up that you'd literally have people chanting? You? Not even. No, I, maybe they can add Rihanna, big time Dean. I, I love it. Machine. They don't need to add that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Don't need to add that. But no, yeah. I just I love it. It's so like it's like extra motivation as well. Like on the pitch and like, even if like you're not having the best of games and then they start singing that, like it just brings it all back and like. Gives you that extra shift and that extra push. Yeah. Uh, does it spur you on? <laughs> I like what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone clever. said what that was really, really clever. Someone said, uh, what's your favourite song? That's a good question. Song. Right now, this minute. Appa well, that's what they got asked. <sighs> I haven't asked this question. The only thing is I don't know the name of the song. That's <laughs> Give it a little sing, go on. Little sing. Anyway. <laughs> I don't really I, I just sort of listen to everything I don't really have a favourite song but like um, Do you know the artist of the song? No because I just listen to songs <laughs> I'm useless with that I sort of just like anything really like any chart songs anything like that Like, What do you listen not... to when you're do you listen to music when you're running and working out? I do but I don't at the same time, so it sounds a bit weird, but I listen to motivational speeches when I'm running. Oh, like what? A bit different. Um, I just go on Spotify um, and just click and listen to, like, just type in motivational speeches and loads come up. And sort of, it's just sort of like, when you're running, you're not listening to, like, songs and stuff. Like, you, you mix up a bit, you listen to motivational speeches, and it sort of, like, takes your mind off what you're doing. And, like, I don't know, it helps me get along, really, like, that's yeah, wicked. No, that's that actually seems like it would be really, really positive. That is, honestly, you know, it sort of gives you that extra shift as well because obviously you're by yourself and when you're running, it's sort of as if like someone's talking to you and you're really like, you can push and sort of thing like that. Yeah, it's good. Do you listen to any podcasts? Like, not when you're running, just in general? Um, Not really. I do. I used to go on YouTube and sort of listen to sort of things like that, yeah. yeah. Um, But I read a book called um, The Mindfulness. Okay. Um, it's about like Michael Jordan and stuff like that. Oh. Mindful athlete, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you enjoying it? Is it a good book? Really good, to be fair. And uh, I'm going to watch the Michael Jordan documentary, The Last Dance. Yes, yeah, on Netflix, right? I've watched one of the episodes. Um, I just haven't watched the rest yet. Oh, okay. Well, last one before... I let you go because I've kept you for ages. Like I told you, time flies by. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, and we still haven't seen the dog, but it's alright. It's fine. You want me to get her? No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. That... Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay. I won't ask the question. I'll let someone. I'll give someone else the last question because I'm nice like that. Everyone wants to know what your favourite football boots are. Um. The ones I have now, my Nike, um, I don't even know what they're called. Are they Vapors? Mercurials? Yes. M Mercurials, yes. I don't, like, know what boots you wear. I just know that there's that... different types of 
them ones, um, but not the sock ones. I don't really like the sock boots. I prefer the the non sock boots. Do you like these boots in particular because they're pink? Um, not. I mean, it helps, but I'm sort of <laughs> really a black boot person. I won't wear black boots. Really? Um, I don't really wear black boots. Oh. Um, I sort of like the bright colour boots. Um, I don't. I tend to sort of avoid green on my boot just because I have a like a superstition that I got injured when I wore green boots, so I just don't wear green anymore. Yeah. Some say yeah. green's unlucky, some say it's lucky. It's like, it's very split, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. So now I just, I like orange. I love an orange boot. Mm. Like, boot with orange on it. Or like a bright colour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like, I, I like all the ones that Nike bring out, to be fair. But I just don't wear black. Oh, that's, there you go, people. Interesting fact. Don't wear black boots. <laughs> that's a really interesting fact. I, really? I, Did you not? I always wear like bright coloured boots. Why would I know something like that unless you told me? I don't know because I always first thing I look at on a player is their boots. Like, well, I mean, when I'm watching on TV or something. <laughs> yeah, not the game. <laughs> what are you wearing on? <laughs> <laughs> um, I always look at players' boots. I just look at people's trainers in footwear in general. Yeah, I, mean, but I don't I actively think, oh, I bet she never wears a pair of black boots. <laughs> I don't know, just like forwards, I don't know, I don't really wear, I just see forward as in like a more bright kind of boot, yeah. you get what I mean? To be, yeah, I'm, I pretty much, now that you say that, it makes sense. Yeah, I just don't really, more like a defender, I can see a defender in like black boots, for sure. Yeah. Putting in like a really solid tackle in a, in a pair of black boots. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. But right. Part. Yeah. <laughs> Right, anyway, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for no. for joining me. And it's been an absolute laugh, especially <laughs> when we thought we'd lost you. <laughs> That's so typical. That was um, funny. But, no, thank you so much, mate. I really, really do appreciate it. And I think everyone who's, who's lo locked in has to. No worries. Rihanna Dean does have a nickname. Her nickname's Big Time. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't tell me. That. don't tell people that <laughs> but um no thank you so much mate and i'll no catch, catch up with you soon yes definitely tell your dog i said hi i will <laughs> see you later right. thanks mate bye bye, bye.